Packers defense playing so horrendously. I'm talking historically horrendous. What can Dom Capers do to adjust? Well, do what your guys are good at. And how do you find out what they're good at? You got to look at the film and see which kind of coverage concepts worked out well for you in this last game against the Redskins. There were two that they did well. One was cover two trap, which is a coverage that's going to put more stress on your cover two safeties and take the stress off of these young bucks here. And in the Packers defense, especially their secondary, they got Morgan Burnett, they got Ha Ha Clint Dix at safety, both have been proven playmakers and they're more experienced in their corners. So might as well put the stress on them because now with these corners and this kind of coverage do, they're basically rerouting the receiver. They're looking for any out cuts and they got their eyes back on the quarterback. They're in a non-stressful situation. And you'll see here that they do this well enough to where the pressure arrives. Another coverage they do well, which again takes a lot of the stress off of these young corners is cover three robber. What I like about it is, is if you got the cover two trap working for you, you go to something that looks pre-snap like a cover two like this one. And then you're gonna see right as the ball is snapped, they jump right into this robber with a middle of the field safety. Got a third defender here and a third defender here. He's gonna be crashing down to become a curl or a, a hook curl defender. You gotta curl the flat, curl the flat, and another hook the curl defender. And you're gonna see a nice job down here by this curl the flat defender body positioning, forcing the throw to go a little higher than it should where Deshaun Jackson couldn't catch it in the field of play, resulting in an incomplete pass. Now let's look at some of these plays that this Packers defense struggled on and imagine if they would have ran either cover two trap or cover three robber. And in this particular play, it's just a simple go route by this wide receiver. This corner is going to get caught and he's going to get caught by not fully understanding the mannerisms of this receiver. And that's because he's going to start to patter down right there. You see him pattering down. This receiver is actually accelerating. You have to match the mannerism of the receiver. This corner didn't do it. But imagine they're in cover two trap. Again, this young corner, he's in a stressful situation in this coverage. They go to cover two trap. He's not. He would be out here and he would be jamming and escorting this receiver to a safety sitting right here. And it's a veteran safety, by the way. And in addition to that, he'd be looking for any outcut. And most likely, this receiver is eliminated. And you're going to see here to where the safety that could have maybe helped on this long one, he actually gets uh, he gets pulled down because of this potential in cut by the tight end, Jordan Reed. And in cover two trap, the beauty of any seam route is you have what they call a rider. And all the rider is, it's either outside back or inside back, or depending on the formation, he's going to stay inside protecting against the middle, knowing very well that any outcut, he has a corner trapping out there. So this is eliminated. And again, cover two trap essentially is going to put the corner running with this receiver with a five to 10 yard head start. And again, we're talking experience safety. And most likely this route is either eliminated or the likelihood of it resulting in this kind of touchdown diminishes greatly. And on this particular play, let's envision cover three, robber. And this one ended up being one where Dom says, look, I'm going to bring the house. We have a, we've been struggling all day, which he did. They go man to man. Again, they put a safety in a stressful situation. But if you go cover three, robber, what you're going to get is you're going to get a middle of the field safety. So any route attacking in the middle field should be eliminated, or at least makes life very difficult for it to be completed. You're going to have a third defender here. Third defender here, so this is how to look. Safety in the middle of the field, third defender, and then across the board on the bottom, you're gonna have curl to flat, hook to curl, hook to curl, curl to flat. Most likely in this particular route combination, this guy's gonna be taken care of by the curl to, or hook to curl. He's going to be running with this one. He's gonna be running with that one. You're gonna have your middle of the field safety where they ended up going most likely again, becomes a very difficult completion for a touchdown. So there are things that Dom can do. Obviously, he's got to make some big adjustments to help out his young corners or else this defense will continue to struggle.